Hello everyone, it's Darby Riverbend Survival again. I've got two things I want to talk about today. Uh, both of them involve a haversack. Uh, but I think I'm going to split it into two videos. So they'll both start with this beginning right here. And want to be part one and want to be part two, the description will tell you. Hi everyone, here's part two. Uh, I'm going to call this, I don't even know if it's a real term, it's, it's what I say. Uh, what I do the majority of the year, well I do it year round, but what I do for the majority of the year because of the temperature down here, <clears throat> is I do what I call haver hiking. Uh, it's a haver sack and just grab my haver sack and go hiking. So I just call it haver hiking. The people that know me, my friends that hang out with me, uh, they know exactly what I mean when I when I call them or I text them and say, hey, go and have a hike, and they know what I'm doing. <clears throat> In part one, I went over this haversack. Please don't ever have any doubt about it. I love the design of this haversack. It is, for me and me only, the best designed haversack I've ever seen in my life. Here's the problem with it. It's cheap. I don't care about the 99 cents that I paid for it. It has flimsy plastic zippers. It is thin, kind of a cottony uh, shell. It has a, a kind of almost like a satin lining in it. Uh, the the strap is is a cotton. It's just a cotton weave type strap. I'm always afraid it's going to break. I'm always afraid it's going to rip. I did spray it down. It is fairly water resist. Well, water, it's definitely water resistant. I wouldn't call it waterproof. But the stuff, when it rains, my, my stuff doesn't get wet in it. Every once in a while, the stuff on this outside flap out here, and when I went over the contents of what's in here, the uh, the compass and the lighter and the fire starter, they're not going to be hurt if they get wet. Uh, so that's what dictates what goes on the outside pocket here because sometimes it'll get a little damp, especially if it's up against where this stitching is in it. Anyway, today I was working on some projects. Like I said in the first part, we're playing. Uh, this is, this is uh, the beginning of June of 2016 and Texas is flooding. Uh, and that's where I live. We, it's just been horrible out there. So instead of losing the day today, I've been working on projects in my room here. Uh, made a uh, case for my daughter Claire to carry her um, Altoids 10 fire kit on her belt. Uh, that's not the point of the video, but it leads to why I decided to do this video today. My son came over and he brought in a package. It's open now, of course. He brought in a package of something that I had ordered on eBay. I did a video on my leather haversack and I explained what that's for. Uh, that's It's a very specific purpose. It is not made it is not, it's just not large enough for a haver hiking, what I call haver hiking. It's not large enough for that. And it was never supposed to be. Um, it's, a, it's a very um, specific use item for me. I am always terrified that my favorite haver sack is going to get torn up. So I'm continually looking for something more substantial. Uh, I have looked at some haversacks that other people have made. 
Um, I think I've looked at the majority of them. Uh, if I haven't personally bought them, uh, friends of mine have them, and I've, I've checked them out and looked at them, and I can't find one that, that I like. Uh, and, and some people are making some great items out there. Don't, don't get me wrong on that. There's some great items being made out there, but they all have one or more, what to me, are flaws, uh, and I'll, I won't ever use them. Uh, I do not like Velcro on my bags. I don't like extra flaps on my bags. Uh, I, I can't stand a flat pocket. Um, and I'm not talking about anyone in sp specifically. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head different bags that I've looked at that I've either bought or looked at that somebody else has bought. Um, there are just certain little things like we've talked about a bunch on these videos right here or anybody else's videos, there are certain characteristics that we each like and there are certain things that each of us don't like. Just because I don't like it doesn't mean that it's not great for you, you or someone else. However, I got off subject. He brought in the package. I was not expecting it this quick. That was a, a happy thing for me. As I stated in one of my very first videos about buying kits or making kits, I am really big into military surplus. Uh, the reason is twofold. One, I'm retired military. Number two is, it's already been tested. I don't have to reinvent the wheel. I, I can adapt most of it if it's worth my time to do it, and it's not expensive. What came in today is, possibly, I have no idea yet, but it could be the replacement for my cotton haversack. When that came in, I decided I wanted to do a video today to show what it is. And then <clears throat> over the next few weeks, if it ever stops raining, uh, I'll start to use this kit, this bag. And if I have to make changes to it, I'll wait until I've made the changes. And then I'll get back with it with a, like a, follow, a short follow-up video on it. Our internet is down right now. Of course, when I load the video, the internet will be up, but it's down right now. And I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you or even guess what this bag is called. I cannot remember what it was when I ordered it. I wanna say, I wanna say it's the M40 gas mask bag or something like that. Uh, when I upload the video, I'll put it down below because I can look at what I ordered. This is the bag that I ordered. Straight out of the box. I've obviously done nothing with it. It's empty. It's just plucked out right now. I've obviously done, well, I did one thing to it, but I, I haven't done anything with it. I haven't tried to fit one item into it yet. Straight out of the box for, I think it was $12 including shipping is what I paid for this. I, I can't go wrong with it. Even, even, if I, even if there winds up being something with it that I don't like, there are plenty of people I know that will like it. Uh, and I'll either give it to one of them or trade it for something or whatever the case may be. Uh, for $12, cannot possibly go wrong with this. One thing I did to it, the one thing that I did to it was it had a waist belt on here that went to this clip. Um, I'm not going to wear a waist belt on a haversack. So I cut that waist belt off. And I kept the little clip on here because it's, it's actually a, a pretty dang heavy duty carabiner type deal. So I just kept it on there. A couple of interesting things on this. I, I'm going to need to move the camera in here closer to show you this. Um, this, this won't take long, but I, I just want to show you what I'm starting with here so you have uh, a reference for the future. Uh, give me just a second. Okay, here it is closer up. Uh, like I said, there's junk all over my table because I've been working on stuff. On the back here was the attachment point for the waist strap and then the other side of the strap hooked to this clip which is kind of like a carabiner that just hooks on to the metal D-ring. Uh, I'll definitely leave the D-ring on there. It's a good attachment point for a water bottle or something, whatever, whatever I want to use it for. The back of it here exact same setup. The strap was sewn in on one side, goes around, and it goes to another one of these uh, heavy-duty metal clips, and it goes to a, a D-ring on this side. 
you know, I like that. I, I like the attachment system. Uh, I, I have no complaints about that, and I really don't intend to do anything. Maybe, maybe add a, uh, a pad on the strap where it sits on my shoulder, uh, but it's way too early in the game to determine if I'm going to do that yet or not. What I do, the things that I like about it out of the box so far, it has the good standard military snaps on it. When I first got it, I could not figure out this top. And when I say figure it out, it's just a weird design until something happened by mistake and I, I said, ooh, I like that. Um, hold on, this camera's not going to work out right. i got to tilt it up a little bit. There. You can see that when it's snapped, it's kind of a round top. It's not flat at all, nor is it really a flap. It's sewn all the way around and down the sides, which is great for keeping water out of it, but it makes it kind of funky when you open it. I was playing around with a bag looking at it, and at one point, I inverted it. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. If I put my thumbs, I don't have to do it this way, but if I put my thumbs on the seam, and flip it inside out, the flap folds down perfectly flat. It's out of the way. There's nothing in my way when I reach into the bag, and I like that a lot. Now, before we go to the inside of it, I'm going to show you something that, that's going to make this easier to explain, I think. Let me grab something to point with. If you can see on the camera, you can see stitching here, 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 down both sides, and then over here. That is actually the stitching for the pockets. It has one pocket here, it has a long thin pocket here, it has a big pocket in the middle, it has a small pocket inside of that pocket, and then it has another big pocket over here. Uh, if you heard one of my pet peeves on bags a minute ago when I was trying to go down the list, it is I do not like flat pockets. If somebody makes a pocket that does not have bellows on it, then it's a sleeve. It makes it almost useless unless you're going to keep paper or a credit card in it. Um, let me see if it works better if I flip it over. I think it will. i got a light up here trying to get light into this. These pockets are fairly large. Uh, that's my hand going all the way down in each of these big pockets. My hand will go all the way to the bottom of the bag. So, I've got this big pocket. I'm, I'm doing this off of the video because I can't see it. I've got this big pocket in the middle, and then right here where my other finger is, right there, is another pocket inside, which I can fit all four fingers to there, to, to, to the end of my fingers fit into it. I don't know if I'm going to keep this flap on it or not. This flap goes over and snaps over all those little pockets. Or I say little pockets, uh, but it snaps over all those pockets to keep everything in it. I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. Uh, I don't know if it's necessary, uh, but I'm not going to cut it off right now because I want to see how well the stuff stays in there with it. it. It may be a mistake for me to cut it off and then find out my crap's falling out of the little pockets. <clears throat> Just as a, just having looked at the bag for 10 or 15 minutes, if you're a person like me uh, that likes to carry a multi-tool, or even if you're a, a haber hiker who does not wear a belt knife, but you have a folding knife that you like to carry, this pocket right here, the smaller one that I showed that goes inside of the other pocket out here, you got the, the smaller pocket here, and you got the long one that goes all the way down. This thing right here is the perfect size. It's the size of a knife sheath for a, for a full-size folding knife. Um, so you could easily put a full-size folding knife in there. Uh, I'm contemplating putting a um, one of my Leatherman Waves in there. That's just the one I happen to use. Anyway, I haven't, I haven't stuck one item in here yet. But 
with the way the pocket, with the way this thing is built, the way that those, it's got all those additional pockets already built in. I don't know how many it is. One, two, three, four, five. With those five pockets already built and sewn into the inside, uh, I may not have to do much of anything to this kit, this bag, to turn it into uh, a good haver hiking bag. I have not looked online. I have not watched anybody's YouTube videos on this. Uh, I may be reinventing the wheel here. There may be a thousand videos out there on this bag that I haven't seen. I just saw it on eBay and and thought, you know, that's a that's a good size bag. I mean, it's it's that that is a lot of room. My hand is is flat, and I have fairly large hands. Uh, that is a huge bag, and then you have the five pockets that are on this side on top of it. Uh, and you can see what I'm talking about. See how the lid folds out of the way right here? It's gone. The, the, the lid's it's, it's out of the way. There's nothing. It's just a big open bucket. Uh, it has a, a uh, elastic strap. I don't know if the light's going to get in there. There's an elastic strap sewn into the side on this side right here. Uh, makes a loop. When I cut the strap off the back, I almost gooped up and cut that strap off at the same time. I was thinking, oh, it's going to hang up on stuff. Then it dawned on me. My little uh, tarp, the, those tarps that my wife makes for me, the seal nylon, seal stop, whatever that stuff's called, parachute type material, that she makes the tarps out of for me, will fit perfect over there and that loop will hold it up against the side. I almost screwed up and cut that out. I'm not saying it's going to stay in there. I'm not, gonna, I'm not saying it's going to work for that, but... Uh, I, I want to try that before I do anything with it. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll put the actual name of what this bag is in the description down below. Um, I, I think, I don't know, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to commit to anything, but out of the box, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being absolute junk and 10 being a definite replacement for what I currently carry, that I hold up to the snags and the cactuses and the, the mesquite thorns and all the stuff that my stuff goes through here uh, I'm gonna put this at right out of the right out of the box I'm gonna put it at probably an eight uh, I have no doubt in its durability it, it's just a matter of, of setup and if it'll work out and hold what I want to hold uh, like I said I just want to show my possible haver hiking replacement haversack uh, and I'll let you know couple of weeks from now I'll, I'll do a, a follow-up video on it one way or the other either I didn't like it or or uh, if I didn't like it I'll tell you why I didn't like it uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of people that watch the video that, that would not have a problem with what I had with it anyway I hope you enjoyed these two videos uh, I hope I didn't ramble on too long there there was a reason that I, I want to go ahead and do this or there's two reasons I want to do the two videos uh, I hope I accomplished that uh, until next time, this is Darby reminding you, get out in the dirt and have some fun. Thanks.